lot of data tracking and collecting mm -hmm. and providing to the managers and the deputies and and if there's something amiss like if we see that somebody's not doing something they should be doing then the manager and the supervisor have to be responsible for that to get the person to do what they and, need and to what do. would the manager and the supervisor do to correct that problem well you know, I'm thinking of tracking tools that we have in place, like around the mist. Would they sit down, though, for example, with the caseworker and say, Amanda, you're a supervisor. Uh, I get, yeah, I get oh, reports back from our ER analyst that will show the data in terms of what my workers right. are doing, what they're not doing, what they're reporting, and what they're not reporting. Um, but a step prior to that is, I think, probably some people invested in helping me buy into this process. And so I train to it, and I look for it when I'm reviewing people's work. When I don't see it, we address it immediately. And it shows if people are doing it or not. We see if those joint visits, those conversations, those connections are being made. And then the next step is analysts review data. When that data comes back, it's a direct supervision issue. And it's something that we right. continue to talk about on an individual basis. And I think we look for themes as supervisors. We look for barriers when things aren't working. We look at bringing together larger groups of people to talk about what the barriers are. Is this an individual issue with a certain person who mm -hmm. feels territorial? What does a public health nurse know? Why would I bring out versus a larger issue? This referral form doesn't work or the process is too slow. Um, so kind of a constant assessment, reevaluation, and would you say tweaking something? Tweaking. <laughs> the process. Improving. Improving. Yeah. Tweaking is definitely and important. Yeah. And sometimes <laughs> at that level, I think um, I work really closely with you that if if that's happening, then sometimes we we have like a, a, a powwow meeting of the minds at the supervisory level. So I might you might have your social worker and myself and you come together to brainstorm what it might look like if we did it so that the social worker then has a chance to say, yeah, I never thought about that. That's a good idea. So it's a positive sort of learning collaboration experience. Modeling. Mm -hmm. Modeling. Yeah. So where, how, do you, how did you know, how do you know, to do the things that you do to bring about these corrections with the caseworkers. I mean, where where did you learn to be the supervisor that you are today? Um, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry said. <laughs> no, she no, said I, mean, I taught her because oh, she she was my student intern when she yeah. first came. Yeah, and these were philosophies that were just woven into what I was learning. Mm -hmm. um, I think I came on in a good time when I learned this as just a core part of our practice that it mm -hmm. just plain makes sense work together to provide. And it, and it just so happens that when you came to the agency, it was 2005, 2006, yeah, it was it's right when all yeah. this was just coming out. And before you were a supervisor, <laughs> she and I sat, we were, were co-located, so she, Amanda happened to be the emergency response social worker that sat right next to me as we were, so it, it was a learning process there too, right. in that she would go, I don't know, what do you think? It was when the supervisors were still saying, do differential right. response. So she'd get the case and she'd go, they want me to do differential response. I'm not really sure why or how or where, but it's with you, so let's talk. Yep. And then Question we would authority. go, and then we would go, oh, okay, let's do that. So, so you guys are very creative. I mean, this, this, you're on the front end of creating a whole lot of things that didn't exist before. And you're also doing this without a whole lot of help from the outside, it sounds like. I mean, we're, who is it outside of this county that has come to help you uh, say, here, if, if you would like to be a really good supervisor, I mean, you're a terrific example. So, we, and we want all of our supervisors to be just like you. Um, it, is there help from the state? Is there help from regional authorities? Is there... Well, the regional uh, training academies... I mean, I mean is there help, I guess, is the... It, it's not, way. are they available? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? We just grow them that way. Well, uh, well that's, that is uh, the, the homegrown we version. Yeah. homegrown, for the yeah. most part, we have homegrown supervisors. Yeah. They truly have grown up So the, but the, the, uh, the more systematic help Somebody said, oh, gee, over there in, your, in this county, uh, you guys are trying to do differential response. 
and we, we have some things that we could help you with differential response. Uh, here's how you might be uh, preparing the people who are the partners in differential response. Here are some of the things that might be helpful for you in terms of supervisors. Here's, here's some data you might want to start collecting uh, now because we know that in uh, six months, a year from now, you're going to really uh, value these data. So but it's that kind of, of uh, uh, more focused uh, assistance is what I would be curious about, but I can just tell by the befuddled looks on people's face that the answer to that is none. I don't know. She's missing Supervisor Core right now. She's here, yeah. missing Supervisor Core. But core I, training. I think the state. And, and, and I'm sorry. And Supervisor Core training is where? Is where? Yeah. Well, it's I mean, here locally. Well, UC okay, Davis it's all here. UC Davis, Davis provides. Right. They're here providing it today. Today. The state provided technical assistance for differential response, is my memory. Um, the integration piece is probably Humboldt County. County. I mean, I think mm -hmm. we're probably the mm -hmm. leader in true integration across the disciplines. Mm -hmm. um, because our director, Mr. Crandall, Phil, actually consults with other counties that want to in integrate in a similar way. What? So it's, it's two things. Okay. Yeah. Good. So we're, we kind of we're kind of we kind of piloted it. it. It was like we kind of we were a pilot out county. how to do we it. Were, there were seven pilot counties, and we were one of the seven pilot okay. counties. Or yeah, no. seven. Pro Eleven. Probably Eleven. funded You're by right. Casey. Eleven. No. No. <laughs> no. Say the right Casey. I'm no, I just Casey why just say Casey? Casey. I I don't <laughs> risk anything beyond that. <laughs> what what year was the San Diego uh, conference? For differential response was that 2006 or seven? Do you remember? There's a whole contingency. Um, it sounds right because I wasn't in ER in 2006, and I don't. I bet it was 2006. They still have it every year, don't they? ER conference. It was one of the yeah, but, the first ones I think in California, but but it was a statewide. The, it was statewide in San Diego, um, but they sent a contingency from Carol Humboldt. Smiley. Yeah, probably. I think it was 2006. It was, it was CWS, was yeah. It was 2006. Six, yeah. It was 2006. The point being is that who Humboldt County sent was CWS. Um, I think there was a couple of mental health people and nurses. Yeah. And so there was a lot of people at that conference, as near as I could tell, because it was Ku and I. And we kind of checked around. I think we were the only nurses in the entire conference. Mm -hmm. And so I thought that was rather significance yeah. in terms of how it, how early integration yep. is starting. Yeah, I, th I think Leader. what you see now is if the Humboldt County team appears somewhere, it's usually a mixed team. It's not just one discipline or the other. You know, you're, you're going to have, yeah. we'll have a, a sure sign. Mental health clinicians <laughs> a sure sign. Sometimes community partners with us. Yep. You know, definitely youth. Yeah, definitely youth if it's parents missing. That's the home. area we have to work on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's pretty and universal in human services. So, foster parents join us. Yeah, we we are uh, running uh, short of time, and well, I'd like to just explore uh, one thing a little bit in depth here. And so, when when you have your uh, team, and whether you're doing this individually or two or three of you go to the door, you knock on the door with the and the the uh, family member. Uh, opens the door, what happens next? What do you mean? Do you, do you have an engagement strategy that starts uh, at that moment? Is there some, is this part of differential uh, response where you say, uh, because you're not there uh, in what some people uh, view as the stereotypical, you know, I'm here to take your child uh, yeah. kind of mode. Uh, Hi, you're I there. I'm Amanda Winstead, and yeah. I'm here to take, take your you child. Yeah, exactly. That's what she tried to train you. <laughs> Good for you. See, show, shows you have way more sense than she has. So. <laughs> but 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 it's the it's the detail of this. So. Uh, what what is it that goes on there, and what is it that goes on there that you would like to see go on there, whenever anybody's door gets knocked upon by <laughs> somebody uh, on the differential response side of things? So, is is there some protocol for that? Is there some expectation about Jen, that? I was saying before, it's not. It happens in a lot of different ways. The, the, the larger idea is that we work together with formal and informal partners mm -hmm. to best 
provide appropriate services and it's support. It's like to it started out as differential response, right. but right. it's grown to be much bigger. So what what she's trying to say is it's not just differential response; it's how we do business. Yeah, in in our and, and that that's good. I, I'm so, still back on. So when on they when they go to the door, the social worker has an it, it, it has received some sort.